What do we have here? Hello, what do we have here? All right, you eventually find your way um, to an area past uh, Halora, the general keeper, mm -hmm. general store, um, back here amongst the buildings uh, and little, like, lean-to huts and things like that. You, you just find um, a small cemetery, um, mm -hmm. and above it is the uh, a very old and ancient symbol of Paylor. Um, and Neat. being as this might be the only place, you just simply kneel down, uh, and, mm -hmm. and, you know, start just kind of, uh, a mix between a prayer and uh, a sermon and, and, uh, make a performance check. All right. I'd also like to, like, help clean up the area. All right. So you, you start with a, a light prayer. Nice. Um, oh, and uh, um, a, as you kind of open your eyes, the clouds seem to almost part over this little cemetery. Um, and you realize, it, you know, it's seen some days and some wear. And, you know, mm -hmm. through your, your talkings and, and you just start reliving some of the teachings and, and prayers of your temple. Um, as you start cleaning up the cemetery itself, uh, some just, you know, random assortment of town folks seem to see what you're doing and, and, and add in. Um, and before you know it, you have a, a, a small little, you know, following of maybe six to seven people um, nice. who start weeding the uh, the tombstones. And they're kind of like, you know, cleaning the actual stones themselves and kind of writing some of them that have, you know, tipped over. Um, and you, you spend a, a, a good amount of the day. You, you even like put your shield down and your mace and no one bothers mm -hmm. it. You just kind of lean it against there. Um, but during that period, the, the clouds seem to open. Uh, and in this little part of town, it, it seems to be filled with life and energy. And yes. uh, roll a... What do you have to roll? A percentile? Uh, yeah. All right, roll it up. Or, hold on. For the favor or for the complication? Uh, for the favor. Favor. Favor is uh, a religion check. All right, roll a religion check. And is it a... <laughs> oh! Oh, that's two favors. <clears throat> Um, all right. Yeah. Mark down two favors somewhere, uh, and remind me that you have those. I will. Um, but the, when the clouds are parting, there seems to almost be a, a, a single beam of light that seems to hit your armor and everywhere that you go, uh, you, you seem to almost radiate with the, the, um, essence of Paylor. Uh, <laughs> and, uh, people around you seem to, you know, they're, They've seen some some wear and tear. Their clothes are not in the best condition, but they there's a smile and just almost like a relief. Uh, even though they may not have all the worldly possessions they want, there's this sense of ease. And you you notice as the day kind of you know starts to wane and the, the clouds are slowly fading and um, the light outside is fading, and you realize you have to get back to your your party. As you pick up your shield and your your mace, there was a probably a good twenty to thirty people that eventually seeing you depart they kind of kneel and 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 kind of um you know uh, almost like you know offer you some thanks and some praise um mm -hmm. but in this small corner of the world you seem to have had a, a huge effect on this very small and um very desolate population okay i'm gonna say to them before i leave the sun father thanks you you have made these grounds furrow, er, fertile and hollowed again. May the light guide your path in everything that you do. Um, I'm going to pick up my stuff and go. Um, as you're Even turning the away, they're, they're, uh, Black guy. <laughs> they're, just, they're just kneeling uh, and, and giving their thanks. All right. Nice. Oh, uh, yeah. Even Quinzuma was back there going, oh, look at this over here. Um, and it didn't even seem to bother you. All right. So, ni nicely done. Uh, nicely job. <laughs> uh, anything we w else want to do before um, the party <clears throat> awakens? Uh, uh, crossbow bolts. <laughs> all of the crossbow bolts. Why can't I do them all at once? Well, you know, we can't do everything we want. Just um, change the number in the party sheet. Well, now I'm down to two, so... Just keep going. <laughs> Just commit. <laughs> um, 
Clyde, but you said you you may want to put on a, a small little get together. Well, I forget like what the town is like that we're. It's it's a small town. Um, it, it's there's only maybe uh, there's two shops. There's the general store and there's Quinn Zoomans. There's the Broken Horseshoe Inn. Um, that just it, it's rather small. It was once um, it, you recall walking in there. It was it, it once may have been like a blacksmith shop. Uh, it just it kind of smells, and the the people of the town are not that well off. Um, but you know, people could use music, but you don't foresee it as a a way to make money, more or less, just a way to make people's days better. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, <laughs> if we just have some downtime, she will find like a town square or something. Um, Free concert in the park. Yeah, and she will just, yeah, shove a, a lovely little. I can't change the number in the party sheet. Um, yeah, she'll just do a little, do a little performance. It'll nice. be lovely. It'll be very like very chill. Uh, um. Yeah. As uh, you know, as the evening kind of grows, uh, you're just kind of, you know, strolling through town, uh, strumming. Um, the the harp is is echoing, and it, it, there's almost a co uh, a chorus of individuals following you. Uh, and you find a nice little place uh, beside the broken inn, the uh, the broken horseshoe inn. Uh, it's just a nice little clearing, uh, and you just kind of sit underneath the tree and just begin to you know play a ballad, a uh, ballad. Uh, Ballard is a, a mix between a duck and a music mm, event. Mm -hmm. A male um, duck. A male, a male duck. Um, <clears throat> and um, you know, before you know it, you have a you have a good amount of people. Some of them look like Ooh. they've worked in the fields all day. Uh, some of them look okay. like um, okay, I don't want them. Like they had I just finished. They're covered in dirt, um, and they were kind of coming from the general store area. Uh, and you even see as you're kind of you know strumming and playing. Um, that uh, Barrick kind of okay, sees you and nods back. as he's as he's walking back. But it's it's a really nice performance. Um, That's all yours. And the people in town even RP it. toss you some uh, toss you some coin. Um, yeah, all together, there's probably like 212 silver pieces that they kind of toss at you. Okay. Man, how many bolts did you have? A lot. Uh, you can delete those silver crossbow bolts. I just took them all. <laughs> um, she will... How, like, generally overall, like, wealthy or well-off is this town? Um, most of the buildings are kind of thatched roof, uh, stone from the mountains. Um, it, it seems to be very much a rural farming community. Yeah. The, the most expensive estate uh, is really Zeno's, and he's on the outskirts of town. Pension for all they got. All right. Is there a like a like a, <laughs> a, a clinic or something, or like a some sort of like healer that treats like people for free or? Uh, yeah. You could you could spend a little bit of time. Um, you find your way to. Um, it, it, on the outside, it just has a um, just crude written uh, healer, um, mm -hmm. uh, and you, yeah, you can you can go inside and, and you know talk to him or donate or do what you need to do. Yeah, she'll go inside. Hey, who's in charge here? Oh, that would be me. I run a lot of things in town. Um, <laughs> are you looking for a healing? I'm looking for a healer. Oh, I mean, I do a lot of bandages. It's it's clearly Quinzuman. Uh huh. So you, how often do people come to you for healing? Oh, um, I mean, sometimes if they like get hurt on the farm or okay. if they shoot some explosive arrows. Yeah. Okay. Uh, tell you what, <laughs> I want you to take this and she will hand him all of the silver that she got for her performance. And I want you to... Make sure you're well stocked with bandages or whatever you need. All right. Oh, oh wow. wait, you're done with the performance already? <clears throat> yeah, it's been it's been a little bit of time. Oh crap. Um, Do you want to rewind? Yeah, we, we can rewind. Well, I was I, th I thought it would have been funny if at the end of your performance, my skyrite spell goes off and the clouds in the air reform mm -hmm. to form the words. Uh, 
never lose hope. Uh, trust the Radiant Company. Oh. Deny the darkness. Oh, oh shit. Uh, it's it's right outside. Uh, it's so, it's above the atmosphere, uh, and and shadowing in the darkness is this ever present storm. Yep. So I I put that up in the in the sky, and I hope I hope that it reaches the countryside beyond. You guys did a lot of good today. Um, Quim zoom and kind of thanks you. Oh wow, I could probably even hire a real healer. That'd be great for this town. You, um, you need anything else? You bought all my arrows. I did. I did indeed. Um, I've got some stuff to sell. Oh, okay. Just like some weapons and stuff. Well, yeah. I was going to sell everyone's stuff, but most people aren't here. So if, it, if everyone has Wait, crap they is, don't is want, Quinn drop Zoom in the party in, sheet. Is Quinn Zoom in the healer too? Yep. Uh, yep. Jeez, oh man. It's, it's, it's kind of a ho-dunk town. Not that there's anything wrong with that. Um, yeah, Quinzuma would would gladly take your wares, um, especially if you're selling those crossbow bolts. He'd be pre pretty excited. Yeah, not the silver ones. Just a cross. I have a crossbow and some crossbow bolts. Oh, yeah. I, I used my crossbow once before I started using my. <laughs> uh, so you're selling the regular ones? Yeah, just the regular crossbow bolts. So that's um I'd give you like 20 20 fake uh, uh 8 10 11 11 gold for them. I'll tell you what, just add that to the stack to get the medical supplies. Oh, okay. I can do that. Uh he gladly takes those uh off your hands. <laughs> Uh, one of paralysis. I don't want it back, Rachel. Oh. I don't know if you're trying to give it back to her. You'll you're gonna have to RP that because she doesn't want it back. Oh, she okay. Don't want that shit. I'll hang on to it. I mean, I I can't use it. Okay. All right. I'm chock uh, full of tunements. Um. Quinsuman kind of walks past you guys, uh, past Calliope. Varric sees you outside and goes, "Oh wow, hi, you." Really like what you did with that graveyard. Uh, and then he kind of hangs a sign on the door handle. The door is wide open, but he leaves it there anyways. Mm -hmm. And it says, come see me at my shop. And he just kind of like strolls by. <laughs> well, I'll see you guys later. Take care, Quinzuma. Oh, yeah. You too, Marek. As, as uh, Calliope walks out, um, Barrick's kind of standing there with a uh, knowing smile. And he says, That was very generous what you did, Calliope. I wouldn't I, look now, but your virtue is showing. I just had to sell some crap we had, whatever. And she starts sure. walking away. <laughs> sure. Whatever. And Barrick's going to follow her. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Um, you guys uh, clearly noticed the uh, the message in the sky. Make your way back to uh, Zeno's estate. Uh, by now, it's it's late evening. Um, Is Valerian like there? She sold the estate. Yep. Oh, okay. Um, anything else you want to uh, uh, do? Uh, the servants, uh, the cloud ghosty people, will you know feed and 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 drink. Uh, Frederick has been kind of. Uh, distant for most of the day and away. Um, he had mentioned something about coming back in the evening. Hasn't returned uh, yet. I am copying spells most of this downtime, but I want to talk to Zeno about a couple things. Um, he is currently asleep. Sure. Well, I mean, we have 18 hours, so I will wait until he's not asleep, and then I will talk to him when he's not asleep. All right. Unless he sleeps for 18 hours. He he might. He's an old man. He, He's an old man. He, uh, you recall as he was walking back to his room saying, I'll see you in the morning. Um, he was like very worn out and exhausted. Probably eats dinner at like 4 o'clock too. 
It's like 3 p.m. It's past his, his dinner time. <laughs> Do we have like access to his library? Uh, yeah, there's, uh, he said, uh, free range of his workshop, which is over in section nine over yonder. Mm -hmm. Um, and then there's books all around the main room in four. Okay. Clyby's going to walk in there and be like, hey, ghosties. Uh, bring me all the books you've got on, what's the name of the place we're going? Triad. Yeah, whatever the sketchy town is where we're going. <laughs> um, <clears throat> they kind of yeah, look, hey, look at each other. Hey, ghosties, any books that mention Triad? Um, they kind of look around, and then they kind of zip off. And you see them, like, going through books after books. Um, eventually, uh, this one just seems to almost give up and return. But this one comes back with uh, two large tomes. Um, one seems to be almost like a large atlas containing several large maps. Um, it's similar to the one that, uh, Zeno actually showed uh, originally. Uh, and the other one just seemed to be, <clears throat> um, almost like a, a, um, adventure guide, like 20 places to visit before you die. Uh, mm -hmm. and it, it's rather old. Um, and, um, it, it seems to mention Triad, uh, but the book itself is probably a good three, four, five hundred years old. No. Oh, okay. <clears throat> is it Triad or is it Trade? Uh, uh, hold on. It's on the map, on the map, it's T-R-A-I-D. Uh, it's Trade. That's what I've been saying the whole time, Dane. Sorry. <laughs> No, it's a good question, but it's it's trade. Okay. Because I think there is actually a triad on the map. This is trade, though. Somewhere, yeah. Uh, and since since our host is being lazy, uh, I'm going to see if he has uh, written down the, the teleportation circle for trade. Actually, if he just has, like, you know copied down any teleportation circles. Like, I have several copied down mm. that I have memorized. Yeah, make an investigation check. Oh, I would gladly do that. Uh, also, where are you currently looking? Uh, in his workshop. Is I, That's where I was looking at books before, right? Yeah, that, that's that's, was... that seems to be, like, his main, like, tinker station and some of yeah. his, like, more <laughs> magically entwined books. Yeah. Um, you you look for a while, uh, and um, you, you're looking for a book like you're kind of going around looking at the books, going teleportation, teleportation, teleportation. Oh, that's probably not what it's called. And after a while, y you realize it's probably more or less something that he keeps on him. Uh, yeah. Maybe in a spell book. Of that makes sense. Okay. Um. So. Um. All right, I really can't do anything until he's awake, so I'm just going to finish copying my spells. Excellent. Uh, Calliope, are you looking in the books? Uh, yeah, she'll look at them, but if they seem old and not very useful, she gets bored quickly. Uh, yeah, the one just seems to be a map of the actual area itself. Um, and it would be somewhere here. An the old map. Uh, it's it's a very very old map. Um, it seems to show of a large, um, populated, dense uh, city. Um, there seems to be a very large castle, um, and there's a a a, a huge river that kind of runs through it. And then um, in the top north part of the map, um, up here. Um, I can't make it go higher. Uh, but at the large, whoop, up here, uh, is a very large lake. Um, uh, massive. Seems to just completely encompass the top half of the map. Um, <coughs> the other one just talks of uh, vacation spots to visit. Trade being uh, one of the highly populated for its uh, freshwater lake. Um, <laughs> but other than that, that's kind of all it talked about. Okay. 
She, yeah, yeah, she does. She um, she rips out the map of Pocket State. <laughs> um, go ahead and make a uh, um, stealth check. Are you being stealthy? Are they ghosts about? Yeah, there's a ghost just sitting right beside you. Oh, she asks the ghost to fetch her a drink. Um, this ghost, uh, wafts over here with a beverage. Oh, the other one comes over? Mm hmm All right. Uh. And then it floats away. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you, uh, you're, you just stare at it. <laughs> and there's this moment where you think, maybe I shouldn't. And then you just slowly tear it. <laughs> <laughs> Never breaking eye contact. And after you finish, you just slowly close the book and hand it back to the ghost. The ghost just floats it away. Yep. Cool, 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 cool. <laughs> Put the map in my pocket. Um, and she's like, hey, hey, ghosties, you got any books on Paylor? Um. Yeah, that this one actually floats back relatively quick uh, and drops off um, a couple of books. Uh, one's one's uh, just kind of gold edged. Uh, it's a plain wrapping, but the actual uh, leaves themselves have been gilded. Um, that one kind of catches your eye, and a couple other ones that just seem to mention different gods. All right, I look at the one with the gold pages. Yeah, uh, you kind of strum through. You see a p couple of you know image uh, renditions of Paylor. Uh, as well as uh, some of the older um, kind of um, 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 dogma relating around to uh, Pelor himself, and some of um, you know some of the lesser gods and some of the outcasts, um, you do kind of come across uh, a very uh, uh, a tale that kind of strikes you quickly, and you you read a little further, and it, it's it's reminiscent of the tale that was depicted in the temple. Um, that you found the actual sun shard in. Mm, okay. Um, she, on one of the pictures of Paylor, draws a mustache and devil horns and a tail. <laughs> and then at some point where it's talking about Paylor, she makes a note in the margin that he likes to lick donkey balls. <laughs> Uh, the ghost is ever just standing there, kind of waiting for you to finish. Yep. And after you do, you just kind of, like, hand it back to him, and he just yep. puts it right back on the shelf. Hey, thanks. And then it goes back to cleaning. Yep. <laughs> um, by this time, it, it's getting late in the evening. It's probably, uh, you know, it's you guys have, um, kind of congregated for a, a meal, um, uh, Frederick has kind of made his way back in. He, he's very silent. Um, seems to be almost like covered in different um, dirt. Um, you know, almost like he had, you know, tromps through the forest uh, and the topmost of the mountains. Uh, eats silently and then just simply heads off to bed. Okay. Calliope tries like engagement conversation at some point, but I'm not going to make you RP because Ben is not here, but she checks in with him. She's a little bit worried about his strange behavior. Yeah, he, he seems okay. Just, um, you know, maybe he's trying to clear his head or something. Mm -hmm. Yeah, at some point she just, like, sits next to him. And, like, whew, you reek, man. Ah, yes. Uh, well, long day in the fields. Hey, you know we're going to get your relic, right? Uh, he just kind of absentmindedly nods. Cool, 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 cool. Well, hang in there, champ. <laughs> <laughs> Little knuckle on the Little shoulder. Bump. <laughs> Excellent. Um, <laughs> give him nuggies. Give him nuggies. <laughs> he has no hair. Um, uh, the evening kind of passes. Uh, very relaxing. Some you know conversations throughout. Um, uh, uh, Valor and Zeno has yet to come out. Yep. Um, by this point, you kind of get the feeling he may not rouse until the morning. Uh, sure. Anything else you guys want to do before sunup? Uh, so are we getting another rest in? Uh, yeah, you would be. This would be uh, well, a, then, a second full rest. Before sleep, 
Uh, I would like to spend blow some spells here. Pew, 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 pew. Where are pew, we? Pew. Uh, so I am casting sending. Mm -hmm. uh, so I'm going to send to um, Nororis and her sister um, Twilina. Yep. Um, basically, I'm telling them the same thing. Uh, but so two sending spells, one to each of them, uh, that says, um, Sisa has fallen. The cloud of Miravas tracks us where we go. Stay safe and stay in the light. Nice. <clears throat> um, I just wanted to warn them that, like, Sisa's shit's going down. If Cisa has fallen, then either of their cities could probably go. Uh, you get a quick message from Nororis saying, um, trade has ceased. Foreseen. Uh, seen the coming cloud. Glad you're safe. Um, and that's all from her. Uh, mm -hmm. To Ilena is going to respond. Lived in darkness far too long. Wear the light proudly, as I do as well. And that will be it. Oh shit. It sounds like Twilena's gonna cowboy up here. They're right in the path of the, the cloud. Nope. Those are my people, y'all. Mm. A badass. Um, yeah, but... All right, you casting anything else? Um, I don't know. Uh, she'll she'll ask before we go to bed. She will ask the rest of the group if there's anyone they want. I'll do it in character. Um, I have I have lots of spells I can cast for long distance talking. Or is there anyone you want me to check in on? Or warn about what's happening. What about your people in CISA, Beric? That's cool. <laughs> what about your family, Calliope? What about who? Family. She's got shrugs. Oh. I mean, I don't really have anybody to to check on. I don't think you've ever told us it. Oh. Have you? I don't no, think you have. She's, it's she's never not, come up. No, she's never have. mentioned family at all. So. And no one's really asked about, like... I'm doing it right now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. In a no, roundabout way. She just shrugs. No, I don't, I don't have anybody to check on. Oh. You can tell Valoran processes that for a long, for a long <laughs> pause. Um, she'll check in once more with uh, I remember these people's names. Um, Zezuth, Headmaster Zezuth. Mm -hmm. Um. Uh, tell him we are safe and out of CISA. Uh, it seems like Miravas is tracking us through a dark cloud. How goes the evacuation? Uh, there's going to be a long pause, uh, but eventually there comes back slower without the whereabouts of Munkerdu. Fear, we have lost him to the cloud. <laughs> Stay safe and be prepared. <laughs> That's my third sending. <laughs> I'm, I want to wait till Dane is because I'm, I'm assuming Dane's going to want to check in with someone in CISA. Do we lose Dane? He may be babying. <laughs> Babying up. 
I mean, I, I will always say when he comes back, we can always. So I'm saving one sending for him for sure. So I'm going to use my four because I have five of these. I'm burning all my spells. Damn. Um, might as well. Can't wait I... for that ambush. Yeah. <laughs> That's fine. I still have magic rizzle. Um. So yeah, I'll send another one to Zezuth and saying, uh, Munkerdu safe in Napsa. Um, uh, we rescued him from the vampire's minions before the uh, Munkery was overrun. Um, it'll be a quick response. It, and it'll just say, Thank the gods. I hope his return is soon, but we will continue our mission. Okay. Um, yeah, so then whatever, whatever I coordinate with Dane will be my last sending spell before I go to sleep. Nice. My fifth, my fifth spending spell, so all my third and fourth level spell slots are spent. Boom, boom, boom. Pew, 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 pew. Nice. Pew. Um, then, um, you know, the party will rest. Um, for the rest of the evening, uh, and at precisely six o'clock in the morning, Swift Eye announces, "It's six o'clock," <laughs> and she goes running down the hallway to get some food. There we go. It's now uh, six a.m. on the eighteenth, the eighth of Akhtar. Um, a very kind of groggy Zeno kind of strolls out. Uh, the rest of the party uh, also kind of strolls out and silently eats some food. Uh, Tozu is just swearing under his breath about how early it is, um, but ha happily sits down and just starts, you know, munching on some food. Nice. Uh, as soon as Zeno sits down, uh, Valorin uh, will sit next to him and say... Hi, I know that you know the, t the uh, teleportation circle for trade. You said so yesterday that you knew the teleportation circle in trade. I was wondering if you might be able to teach me the rune uh, combination for the teleportation circle in trade. You see, oh. I'm about to learn the teleportation circle spell probably yes. really soon. By the uh, way, do you have spell components I could have? Oh, <laughs> it's... And he kind of pats you on your side. It is, it is really early um yeah, yeah i've been in, awake for like 12 hours whew, i remember when i used to be able to rest for four hours how long did i sleep uh since like yesterday morning oh god okay a little tired uh, um he kind of combs the hair out from his his pointed ears and uh they're in my workshop. Look under the desk. It's help yourself. Okay, thanks. Uh, she runs into the workshop. Um, he he kind of looks at uh, Korak and Tozu. That one's got a lot of um fire. I I <laughs> guess. You're telling me she don't shut up. Uh, and he just keeps eating some food. Um. Uh, after a moment or two, uh, you very quickly find uh, just kind of underneath um, where his like main study desk is, um, it just seems to be drawers full of components. Oh shit! So specifically, what I would need for the teleportation circle spell mm -hmm, mm -hmm. is is like gem infused chocks and inks mm -hmm, that mm -hmm. like fifty gold worth per spell, and it's consumed. Yeah, make so, a. I'm assuming check. he has some of that. I mean, she'd pay him for it if she if she needed to. But oh, not that one, not that one, Andy. This one. Yeah, it, it doesn't take you long to find uh, several drawers that all seem to be labeled like components, and then one is like components, living things, components, um, crystals, and gems. And you very easily find uh, at least enough components to to cast the spell twice. Um, 
Ooh, uh... She doesn't want to leave him without anything. She's going to grab them both. <laughs> Morals! Uh, yeah, you, you quickly uh, kind of grab them, put them in your pouch, and, and run back. By this point, time, the party's kind of eaten. Um, She's just going to tell them that she grabbed both of them. Oh, good. I'll just have to tell Quinn Zuman to order me some more. That's fine. Um, well, when you're ready, I am ready. Uh, and he kind of walks over here um, and uh, just kind of puts his hands out. I forgot that I was going to... Um... How how sketchy do you say this place was? Well, when I last visited it, it was uh, right after it dried up, and, well, thugs and other meandering tribes kind of came in. Uh, I haven't been there in, mm, I don't know, 300 years? Yeah, that seems right. Um, mostly thugs and thieves, but to be honest, I haven't traveled that far west in quite some time. I only do it now because you said that you will protect me. Alright, Calliope thinks for a second and remembers that she was gonna do some disguisey stuff and then decides, eh, 300 years is a long time. <laughs> oh, did I find the, uh, the pattern of the circle for trade? Uh, did you ask him about it? I did. Oh, then, but yeah. But he's real old and he may have forgotten. Oh! Oh, yes. Um, uh, here, while I draw it, you hold it. Um, and um, he kind of hands it to you. Um, mm -hmm. And uh, he just starts drawing, almost as if by memory. Um, and you very easily kind of uh, sit down and start scribbling in your, book, in your notebook. Hell yeah. By about the time that he finishes uh, chalking it on the ground, you've already scribed it, and then are standing back there eager. Yeah. Um, but yeah, he, well, when you all are ready, and he just like slams his hand down, and it just, uh, illuminates on the floor. Shall we? And it's just waiting patiently while there's this teleportation circle that is open on the floor. Zeno, I bet you got all the ladies when you were younger. <laughs> or, or dudes, I don't mean to presume. Could have been both. And he winks at you and then just jumps in. And then, pff, he's gone. Uh, Valoran gives Calliope a grin and goes into the circle. Uh, Frederick and Korak will jump in. And you hear Tozu going, I'm not going to be last! And he just jumps in. Oh, that guy. <laughs> are we, so wait, are we leaving Munkerdoo here? Uh, Munker Dew is actually at the keep. Right, 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 right. Okay, that's right. Oh, yeah. Okay. It's, I was intending to get Zeno caught up on what's going on. Right. But okay, yeah, Clappy jumps in. So much <laughs> to keep track of. Uh, Dane, did you come back? Nope. Oh. Mm hmm just kind of missed the teleportation circle. Um, so everyone, um, you know, after a couple of seconds, kind of rushes in and um, uh, you kind of jump in. Um, there is a an immediate kind of dulling of the nerves uh, and just kind of this white noise sound in the background. Um, after a split second or so, um, the, the, that sense of dull and, and almost burning in your mind's eye seems to immediately hit your skin. And, and, and before you realize it, um, it, it seems to almost be impacting you. And you instinctually open your eyes uh, to see just kind of the movement of um, the sand and the wind. Um, and the air around you, it, it's acrid and warm. And the smell of salt and sand is throughout the, the air. And immediately, sand is in every crevice um it, it, it's kind of getting in your eyes um and and it, it just kind of pains you just being there and and the second thing that you immediately feel is just this immense heat um gotta get rhyme up in here yeah clive looks around and goes hey do you all know that 
Is it triad or trade? What's this uh, trade. Hey, do you all know that trade's in the top ten places you should vacation before you die? Uh, I Tozu, didn't know that. Tozu looks at you and goes, fuck this place. <laughs> um, and you, uh, let me, let me get everyone in here. Um, do, 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 do. Yeah, she just sort of extends her hand and like grandly gestures and goes, largest freshwater lake known to man. <laughs> Points to where the lake should be. Um, so, um, you're standing in the middle of a room. There we go. Um. Let's see here. Uh, you're standing in the middle of a chamber. Uh, there are two stairs, uh, staircases either side of you that kind of uh, ascend to an upper level. Uh, behind you where you're gesturing for this grand open lake uh, seems to be a crumbled wall. Um, looking behind you, you see a very large wooden door, um, both behind you and in front. Uh, and this seems to be a, a cylindrical uh, building perhaps uh, maybe even the center of a keep or part of a, a tower. Um, but it's uh, it has seen some better days. Um, there seems to be no water in sight, but sand seems to be blowing uh, around you. Um, everyone make a perception check. Did we just go through the portal? Sorry. Uh, you totally did. No, it's okay. good. Uh, speaking of which, uh, make your perception check, but... Um, is there anything Barrick the night before mm -hmm. would like to reach out to or talk to? Valorant offered you a sending message. Yep. Um, she was checking in with, with all I'm of their gonna, contacts, like Nororis and Twilina. Yeah, I would like to send a message to... Um, 25 words or less, all you. To... What's her dwarf Castellan's name? Oh, uh, Munder? I had it. Munder, yeah. I said that earlier, but then I lost it. Um, I want to tell Munder to sh um, shore up the defenses of the resplendent keep. Um, the storm is coming. And then I, I also want to... Are... Sorry, go ahead. That's okay. Um, I also want to send a message to the um, temples of Hellor that... Um, the darkness's end is soon at hand. Prepare yourselves. Who do you ask uh, Valorant to send it to at the Temple of Paler? Um, to... Hold on, I know this. I'm writing this on your page. I don't have much in your page. You're getting uh, some stuff on your page. Priest Rucha. Rucha. All right, I reach out to Rucha with that message. Um... After a uh, a long, long time, there is no reply. <laughs> They're already dead. They're all dead. Um, Even I, the younglings. I didn't get any. I didn't get <laughs> any younglings. response. I just killed younglings, Eric. <laughs> Sorry. It's Although, either too late or they were sleeping. Maybe. <laughs> well, no. I mean, it was it was later in the day. They would have they would have heard me. Sure, they would have known. Um, but I I do have kind of a voice that people don't trust naturally. That's I thank you nonetheless. It was very kind of I you mean. to offer. I'm really sorry. Hopefully they're as prepared as they're going to be. Otherwise, well, anyhow. What we need to focus off on is stopping this darkness before it can do any more harm. She she kind of like ducks to the side a little bit to like look him in the face and like really give a look to see how much this is hitting him. Because he's been all business like all this adventure. Business. So she's looking at him like doing an inside check. Fuck it. Inside check. <laughs> inside me. Um. Oh. <laughs> I'm going to... Are you, are, um, are you trying to hide anything there? I'm going to use my persuasion because I'm trying to remain stoic mm. and hopeful. And I want to I wanna reflect that to my teammates. Um, yeah, so what, what, do you, what do you look like? Because it's coming so across. So 
when you look at his face, you have trouble seeing any kind of um, doubt in his face or um, basically any, any kind of thought that what we're about to do will fail or can fail. You only see kind of a um, determination in his eyes, and you swear for a second that you see an actual light coming from his eyes. Yeah, I would say Valorant, Valorant scans in for a long moment, and then just kind of gets a look of disappointment in her face and <laughs> just goes to bed. Yep. Nice. That's uh, the last thing he sees. Disappointment. Disappointment. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, nice. Uh, yeah, so fast forward, Zeno teleports you guys to trade, um, with... Oh, I'm Sandstorm, oh no. <laughs> um, I gotta see what you guys' perception check is. Uh, yeah, you, you, uh, the three of you, uh, that are currently present, uh, notice immediately, um, that Zeno, uh, who is, you know, uh, gray and, and stoic. Old as fuck. Uh, old old as, as fuck. fuck. Um, <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, <laughs> He's an oaf. <laughs> um, oh, I had this written down. Screw it, we're going to do a lot. Um, there we go. Um, as soon as he kind of enters and, and his uh, your, your vision enters this frame, uh, he is kind of on all fours, kind of panting. Uh, he's holding his staff in his right hand, um, and, and he slowly, like, stands up using all of his might on, on with both hands on the staff. Uh, his face uh, immediately looks aged and thinned. Um, he looks as if he's aged a tremendous amount in a short amount of time. I'm going to um, help him to his feet if I can. Oh, yes. Hey, thank you. Just need to catch my breath, that's all. I'll what? just oh, oh, sit down oh, here. Spivey starts, like, frantically digging through the bag of holding. I've got the thing for you! And she's very excited. Oh my god. <laughs> what uh, has happened to you, friend? Oh, just many a moon. Uh, just, uh, haven't used a lot of magic in a real long time. Uh, um, well, let's see. When, um... Um... Nororis and I came from our homeland. It was hundreds of years ago, and by then I was... Let's just say past my prime. Uh, and he, he's gonna, like, kind of motion you to let him sit down on the staircase. I'm gonna... Found it! She holds up a potion, and she says this. I didn't know that it was you I was saving this for, but it was you all along. I'm gonna help him to sit. And she is going to hand him a potion. Is this the potion? I think it is. E probably. I've been holding on to it for a long time. You have been holding on to that for a long time. Uh, where is that hiding? There yep, is. there it is. Uh, Can I roll it? Yeah, yeah. Go ahead. He uh, he immediately knows what this is, and you just see him pop the cork and just start downing this thing. Um. 1d6 plus 6, so 9. With a minimum of 13. Oh, yeah. Uh, there's a 10... Um, put it in liquid, 10% calmer chance. So unless he's, dead. like, had this before and I just killed him. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no. Um, the, the thinned age lines seem to almost um, lessen. It's still there. But, right, right. Uh, he he almost seems to have um, like a a little bit of more pick me up, and his breathing kind of subsides. Um, you know, he's still old as fuck, but right, right, right. Not quite as fuck. He he's not about to die at any point, and he uh, he kind of uh, smiles warily at you, and then he looks to Valorn and goes both, and he just winks, and then tosses the bottle, and it just into the back right. Ladies um, and fellas. Uh, uh, <laughs> you asked, I tell. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna say to him. him. I'm gonna say to him. Forgive, uh, forgive us for taxing you so. so uh, we wouldn't do it if it wasn't of the most importance. Um. Consider yourself tagged out, old wizard. 
Huh. She, gives him, I agree. she gives him a smile. <laughs> You've I done can, more I than can, enough. I can get everyone back. Excellent. Um, I guess I'll... Um, and he kind of looks around. There's a hole in the ceiling. Um, <laughs> find a room? You know what? I'll just oh. wait here. You tell me when it's safe. Use the gourd. You should use the gourd. Oh. Yeah. This is a really dangerous place for him to be in. And I think... I think Xena would be a lot more use coordinating things on the other side of the country. A gourd, you say? I am a bit famished. Oh, but it'll, it'll go with him, won't it? Uh, I can get us back. I can get us around. Yeah. Soon. I just won't have my gourd anymore. Zeno, I've been talking to Nororis and Twilina. Also, our scion at the uh, at the Resplendent Keep, um, Mundar. Ah. Um, that storm of darkness Miravas is sending around. It's it's going to be trouble, and it sounds like Twilene is going to be doing something foolhardy and maybe trying to stop it. I don't know. Ah, but that does sound like her. I only have so many spells a day. I can have coordinating people and and trying to make sure everyone's on the same page. You seem the right like the right man for that job. Well, it would be nice to come out of retirement, if you will. Well, One last hurrah. Maybe you let us do the heavy lifting and... Uh, and you be there to make sure that uh, no one does anything stupid. I like that plan. But um, I mean, he can just teleport himself back, right? <laughs> it's only got one a day, I think. Not today. <laughs> Maybe like in my youth. Really high level to get two fifth level spells. Um, All right, Clappy looks super bummed, but she pulls the gourd out of the bag of holding. Ah. I've heard stories of these. And he kind of shakes it and then just kind of looks a little disappointed because all he hears is... That's right, you only rolled three when you first got it. <laughs> yeah, and, and just, we used one and there are two left. There's clearly just two seeds inside this gourd. Well, it will be an adventure. Um, But as a thank you, and he starts kind of rummaging around and um, kind of puts his hand into a, a bag by his hip. Uh, and it goes into about his elbow and then he pulls out three greater healing potions. Seeing That's as that handy. I wouldn't want you to die, well, let's call it a trade. I'll take he, one. He, uh, well, I was going to get them to cut. Oh, no, that's fine. You guys can split them up I'll here. take one, too. <laughs> <laughs> so the three of you get uh, a greater healing potion. Okay. Um, and he's, he's going to look at you, Valoran, and kind of smile. If I was 400 years younger, and then... He just disappears. <laughs> oh. Uh, and there you go. Yeah. Creepy, creepy old man. You're like 200 years older. <laughs> well, she, she just gives Barak a look like, really? You haven't seen the kind of people I flirt with? <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, shit. Uh, yeah, you guys you guys are currently... She just shakes her head. <laughs> <laughs> alone now Men, in right? the ruins of a castle. Well, five here. If I knew he was just going home, I wouldn't use my potion on him. Clappy oh, grumbles. What kind of potion did we get? Uh, a greater, greater healing. healing. Greater healing. Yeah, each of you did. The did potion you and my it? gourd. <laughs> yeah, go ahead and mark that off. Boom. You have a wand of paralysis, though. Oh, I, I see. I don't see that. Uh, I can I can put it in the party sheet. It'll take me two seconds. Thank you. Hi. What I'm hearing is Rachel doesn't have enough magic items. That's what I'm hearing. I know. I just like <laughs> those are two super unique ones, and I wasn't expecting to lose both of them over the span of like five seconds. Still got the coconuts though, right? <laughs> Why did you give him the potion of longevity? Because I thought that he was gonna stay with us, oh. and so I thought it would help him like be less decrepit in the sandstorm. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. And then Mallard's like, send him home. He wasn't going to come with us. Was but no, I thought he was going to like hang out and wait for us. But I figured like uh, being nine years younger would make waiting for a day in the sandstorm easier on him. Gotcha. Yeah, who did I didn't know that. How am I supposed to know that? Okay, man. What's that? Did everyone get one? Did I screw up? I got I got one. Greater potion of healing. Barrick. Uh, Calliope did not. All right, let me fix that. 
I don't know. How do I delete this? Greater healing potion. This one goes to Calliope. And boom. All right. There we go. Everyone's got it. Okay. Oh, I, I think. gave myself one. Oh, well, jerks. Um, yeah, so you are in what looks to be a central chamber, two staircases on either side, and doorways both leading to the north and to the south. Well, Frederick, any idea as to where we should be going? Uh, out, I'd say. Um, out it is, then. To the, uh, to the grove, um, which I would imagine is not here. I'm going to look around for a grove. <laughs> Uh, you look around and see just um, solid walls with a cave into the north. I pull out the map I stole. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Beric, you clearly see uh, what looks to be a jagged, poorly ripped out map. Uh, seems to reminisce from the uh, the Atlas book that Zeno showed you once. Um, I, I flatten it out as much as I can from having it crumbled in my pocket. <laughs> <laughs> on it. Did you take uh, that... From Zeno's library. Yeah. <laughs> Beric just kind of closes his eyes. <laughs> sighs and then says, what does it say? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, upon looking at it, you, you do see what looks to be some kind of um, inscribed uh, lettering uh, that seems to point to the center of the castle had some sort of teleportation marking. Is there, like, a, anything that looks like a grove on the map, though? Um, you can make an investigation check. Uh, yeah, so on the far um, uh, edges of the map, uh, you, you see what looks to be some green, some foliage, uh, but it definitely looks like you may have ripped that part out. Uh, hmm. But it doesn't seem to be anywhere near town. It looks like you'd have to go through town to get to it. Clippy points and shrugs. I guess that way it is then. Let's go. I'm gonna. I'm gonna lead us. Nobody else is gonna go. <coughs> foist. Right. So, uh, since you're uh, leading the way, go ahead and make an investigation check. Ah, uh, yeah. Oh, snap. And then you're going upstairs? Oh, nah, boys. Um, as you kind of start walking out, uh, you clearly see that the um, the glyphs that were once the teleportation circle, they're still there. They almost seem to have stopped glowing from when you first entered. Uh, going up the stairs, you, you know, uh, you start walking up and then decide... Perhaps I should be looking around. Uh, you notice the kind of crumblings of the wall. You notice one step and you easily point it out to the party that it doesn't look trapped. It just looks like it may have uh, almost given way over time. Uh, you just easily get around it. Uh, you make it up to the second floor. Um, to the north, definitely looks like a cave-in. Uh, be careful. The stairs are treacherous. <laughs> uh, what's that? And Tozu just right through um and then like pulls himself up <laughs> i meant to do that i was just testing you uh and kind of falls up around um you kind of uh look up to the north and very easily see that it, it just looks like that entire wall has given way uh it's quite high up and looks very treacherous um mm -hmm. across the way you see what looks to be an open uh hall you see two large doors one here and one down this direction uh, and what looks to be um, another opening with the doors that have kind of fallen off, and then two other smaller doors. Oh, uh, is there a ceiling above us? Um, not really. I mean, it seems to have uh, started to kind of cave in. Um, you see light through it, but it's not something that you would be able to like try to climb up, or at least, well. Is it something I could get the carpet through? Um, I mean, you could try. Um, go ahead and make a investigation check. Uh, 
Um, yeah, uh, looking from down here and up, you kind of squint, you kind of block the sand from kind of blasting your eyes. Um, you know, when you kind of calculate the distance, it, it looks really small. The openings that are there look um, maybe enough to fit maybe one person out of it, but the okay. ceiling itself seems to be precariously, like, kind of fallen in and stopped. Okay. What's that door? Uh, you want to go investigate it? Oh yeah. Yeah, you can make a. Hell yeah. Uh, what are you What are you doing? You walking up and looking at it? Or you walking up and opening it? No, no. She's just gonna inspect it first. Yeah. See if there's you... any writing on it or. Yeah, make an investigation. Oh, walk uh, this way. Uh, yeah. You walk up. Um, they're they're older. They're um, uh, these seem to be mostly wooden. Um, and there's some metal reinforcements, and, and just by the age, you can tell that the metal itself, uh, though rather rusted, seems to be the only thing keeping these doors together. Um, they don't seem to be trapped, um, but they they do seem to be closed. Lots of doors in here. Who, um, generally speaking, who's the clumsiest other than Tozu? I heard that. <laughs> He's now up here. Uh, probably... Frederick. Okay. Calliope's going to put Frederick. <laughs> Calliope's going to put Frederick and Tozu on the carpet just to keep Tozu out of trouble. So she'll like give Frederick the carpet I and an like average dexterity. Have Tozu hang out on the carpet with Frederick so he doesn't fall through the floor. <laughs> nice. I'm going to do this so it looks like they're higher up. There yeah. we go. Um, she'll trust uh... Frederick to keep him out of trouble. <laughs> I will try my best. Uh, Tozu's like, oh man, look at this! And he is just shouting. Um, Maybe she'll stick Korax on the carpet too. He can like hold on to Tozu behind. <laughs> yeah, that's convenient. There we go. Bam, they're on the carpet. <laughs> uh, Swift Eyes is sitting there meditating. Uh, Beric, uh, make a investigation check. You checking out that room? Yep. Checking it out. Um, and while you do that, uh, Valor, are you, um, you doing anything else with that door? I'll peek in that door. Uh, yeah, um, it, it's rather large. Go ahead and make a strength check. Oh shit! Good at those. Strength save. Just kidding. They're the same. Uh, it, it it takes you a moment, but you just try with all your might to try to make this door budge. Uh, you feel it kind of groan a little bit, but it it doesn't seem to move. She just like leans against it and looks all James Dean. Uh, it it does not move. Yeah, no, 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 no. She she leans on it like like she was meaning to lean on it the whole time. Uh, you you see Swift Eye, one eye open, just kind of smiling at you, and then immediately insight, insight. <laughs> just kidding. I give uh, I give her the up nod. <laughs> um, Barrick, rolling an eighteen. Yep. Um, eighteen Barrick. Yeah, uh, so you uh, walk over what looks to be the doors that have fallen off or rotted after after many years. Um, mm -hmm. uh, the door is, um, you know, not even there. The wind is kind of blown in. Um, in the center of the room, the, the sand seemed to have swirled into a circle. There seems to be almost like a mound of sand. Uh, and you do see something kind of shiny catch your eye in the top of it. I will approach it. Yeah, um... Go ahead and make a um, make another investigation check since you're looking at this thing. Clyde's gonna run out of luck of, here. <laughs> as people are starting to scatter, Clyde's gonna be like, "Hey, hey, hey, hey!" Before he takes off, let me play you a little ditty. <laughs> uh, Valorin, is Newly hanging out with us today? Um. Yeah, 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 yeah,
Yep. Save. <laughs> my aura of protection grants me plus five. Mm, you might need it. It's only an uh, AC of 31. Uh, dexterity. What? Nothing. Um, not pass it. You kind of uh, reach forward, um, and the sand kind of starts to give way, but you, you watch it with your eyes, and you kind of reach out, and you kind of fall a little in the sand, but you still grab it. Uh, and in your hand, uh, kind of you know, standing up, and now there is sand just everywhere, even uh, more so I than there was the before. It's, it's in your, your chain, your so undergarments. You're kind of itching with one hand and looking at it with the other. Uh, and in your hand, you hold an irregularly shaped brown stone. Uh, it's about the size of a fist, and it has uh, clear crystals uh, all around it. Huh. But it, it definitely looks different. I will take it and put it in my pocket. There you go. It's in the party sheet. Party, um, party, party, but party. I have that, just silver crossbow bolts, so you can delete them. Oh, okay, I'll delete that. Uh, other than that, it just seems to be um, just a ton of sand. Um, Calliope and sand. Valorant, what are, you, uh, what are you guys doing? Uh, I'll check out all the doors to make sure there's no traps. Nice. So, um, yeah. Valorant tried to open that one and it wouldn't budge? Uh, yeah, you, you heard like a slight groan, um, but it, it didn't <laughs> seem to move. Okay. After Valorin wanders away, Clyde goes up and tries to open it. <laughs> Make a strength check. <laughs> nice. Um, so you kind of look over your shoulder, waiting to make sure that she's nowhere in eyesight. Uh, right. And as soon as she does, you just put both feet on the one door and pull with all your might on the other one. Um, and it 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 um, the door itself seems to almost give in. Um, the wood itself starts to kind of crumble, and the iron is still there holding the door, uh, but sand just starts pouring out of it. Um, it. There doesn't seem to be anything in there other than just a wall of sand and rocks just start to kind of tumble towards you. You easily evade. It's not very fast moving, but it, it seems to be a um, have been holding back a torrent of sand. Okay, she just kind of like jumps back and goes, "Oh shit!" <laughs> um, Valorant, go ahead and uh, make uh, one more investigation. We'll make that for the rest of the rooms as you kind of walk around. Right on. Nice. Um, yeah, this one uh, you come to um, a very large. This is a metallic door. Um, mm -hmm. Compared to the other ones, this is this is massive. Uh, it's probably a good 20, 25 feet across. It's two large doors. Um, it's got a, um, a very intricate-looking um, door handles. Uh, seems to open in, um, but it's just uh, uh, two massive doors. Hmm. But so far, none of the other doors in the in the room seem to be trapped in any way. Um, no, as you kind of walk around, it just seems to be, um, this is a very large door. Uh, this one, uh, you kind of walk in and just seems to be, uh, what looks to be a, a very large open room. The sand itself has kind of swirled over time, um, but doesn't seem to have anything of interest in it. Um, as you kind of walk around the, uh, outer up top. Uh, this is a smaller door. This one seems to be wooden, very reminiscent of the, the one that you've tried before. Um, mm -hmm. You walk past the top here, and this door is very similar to the other large uh, door um, with very carved, uh, intri intricate uh, handles. Uh, and then you come up to this door uh, itself. Uh, this one seems to be the most well-maintained. Um, Maybe it just didn't get the most uh, direct elements, uh, but it's just a smaller room. None of them seem to be uh, trapped. Um, they seem to just be doors. I think all the doors are okay. It's open. Hmm. I'm going to walk out holding the stone in my hand and say, can anybody make sense of this? I found it in a pile of sand. Sure can try. Oh, I can. 
Tozu jumps off the flying carpet. Oh, crap. Uh, he comes running over. Valor, are you trying to beat him there? Nope. <laughs> oh, man, look at that rock. That's good. That's good. That is a, that is if a you rock. Try to if you try to compete with an asshole in an asshole race, <laughs> that best, that, yes, best case scenario, you're asshole number one. <laughs> yeah, but that's a rock. It's a nice looking rock. Look at that. Look at those veins. Yeah, I can't do anything to help you. you know, he just <laughs> he just runs back. Jumps back I'm gonna back. offer it to Valorin. All right, I will. I will take it. Uh, and I will first. Uh, can I do a quick like Arcana or history check to? Uh, yeah, you can. Uh, whichever one you'd like. And what are you trying to uncover? Um, I want to see if it has magical properties. I'll do Arcana. Yeah, do an Arcana. Um. Yeah, you kind of hold it in your hand, and it, it's, you know, uh, larger, like a little boulder. Um, it's got some clear veins that run up through it, and they almost seem to pulse as you look at it uh, with with some kind of um, elemental-based magic. Right on. Uh, then I am going to attempt to... She's going to sit down and open up her book, her, uh, her spell book, and she says, I'm going to try to identify this, but it's going to be a little while. Um, I'll just be here doing this if you guys wanted to keep exploring. She shrugs. And I will start the Identify Ritual. Nice. That's going to take about walk, 10 minutes. But she I'm going to walk this way and check out this door. Yeah. Um, doing that? You also find a very large, uh, mostly metallic, there's some, some stone involved, uh, two large doorways blocking, uh, two large doors blocking the doorway to the south. Um, there's some sand that seems to be kind of flowing in and out from underneath it. Um, but a very, compared to the other doors, especially the ones that you walked over, these seem to be in pretty good disrepair. Pretty good. Dis so they're in disrepair, but uh, they're opposite of decent. disrepair. They're, they're, okay, they're, they're still in pretty good. Yeah. Okay. You know what? Roll a death saving throw. No, they're, uh, <laughs> they're, <laughs> they're, I'm sorry. I just didn't understand. <laughs> no, no, they're, 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 uh, compared to the rest. They're still in rather good condition. Condition. Okay. Um, uh, <laughs> Go ahead, roll. <laughs> um, I would like to. Oh, um, you stepped on those arrows. Sorry. Did they? Do they have handles as though I should pull them, uh, or is there a sign that says push? It, no. Uh, the handles themselves seem to be very big and ornate, and they give you the appearance as if you need to pull on them. Um, okay. I will give them a yank. Nice. The old Yankee yank. Uh, these are rather large doors, so go ahead and make a strength check. Strength check. Sure, Powie. Nice. Um, you kind of like <laughs> spin your hands and rub them together, and then you just like hoist her down and just start pulling with all your nut might. Uh, it takes a moment, but you just you don't give in. And after a moment, they just. And they just slowly pull in, uh, and you immediately have to kind of cover your eyes because the wind is now like whipping through the, the actual corridor itself, um, and it, it starts to pick up and it starts to blaster you. But at this point, you can see um, the outside, uh, and the immediate heat hits you, uh, and, it, and it's hot. the The sun is in this hazy sky, and you continue to kind of pull it open until. <laughs> Just they kind of slam against open. the other sides and resonate, um, and yeah, you can you you now clearly see the outside. I think you were right, Calliope. I believe this is the exit. I'm gonna open the door over by me. Yeah, I'm gonna make a strength check. You can do it. Uh, yeah, so you kind of hear his comments, but you're like, but this could be too. And you just, you pull with all your might. <laughs> uh, it doesn't seem to budge. And then you, you, you hear the, and you think, I got this. And then you open your eyes to see that the actual metal on the door handles are starting to give way. Oops. Uh, you can keep pulling. Uh, Calabi just says, this one's locked and walks away. 
Uh, <laughs> uh, you can try the next door. Yeah. All right. Make a make make a strength check. This one's a little smaller. Yeah. Uh, this one you kind of stroll up to, and you you kind of like wink at Valorin and just pull it open with one hand. Um, there's nothing. Uh, as as the door kind of open up uh, opens up, you uh you see some rubble. Um, uh, some, you know, it's not very ornate. The the walls themselves, though, on the inside chamber seems to be carved uh, that have worn away with erosion. This one just seems to be a plain uh, wall. Um, are you walking in? Yeah, I want to look for a cool rock like Barrick found. Nice. Uh, <laughs> make, an, make an investigation check. find a lich nice mm. uh yeah you you walk in uh and the room itself seems to be almost eerily empty um there there's nothing of importance though you do find some rocks that they're odd uh some almost seem to be kind of volcanic in nature and you think well these are nice but they don't look like that rock but you do see um a, a kind of a, a corridor opening um, to your right, and you do feel a, a, a breeze and the smell of fresh air coming from that direction. She will stick her head back out the door and say, Hey, I found the outside. Uh, okay. <laughs> uh, Beric, make a perception check. Okay. Yeah, uh, hearing this, you kind of look out. Um, let me see if I can draw this without. Oh, no, oh. no spoilers. No spoilers. No spoilers. No spoilers. Uh, you look out, and and the wind is 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 blinding. It's painful, and the, the heat Ow. is oppressive. Um, and as the sun kind of beats down, you kind of squint, and off in the distance. Um, it seems to be almost across the town, and, and it's and it's difficult because there's a very thick haze. You do see what looks to be a deep green amongst all the yellow and all the beige. It sticks out uh, even through the haze and the sand that's kind of beating you uh, in the face. Uh, you do see what you would hope is the forest that they speak of. Um, as your vision kind of comes closer... Uh, you kind of look down and you see that the act the actual maybe staircase that this once was has collapsed and there now seems to be a a deep just ravine in front. Oh, well, that sucks. You you might be able to get down it, but it could also be pretty treacherous. We have a flying carpet. We have a flying carpet. We could use that. I think I found the grove. Sweet, let's go. Everybody coking it up. Not up. Uh, there seems to be a large ravine in the way. Can we jump it? Valorin's, uh... Probably s- not. <laughs> Her pearl is floating above this item with uh, soft blue runes glowing in the air, which she's quickly writing down. <laughs> Checking it with her notes as far as what I, what this item might be. Um, it's it's one that you've you've read about. Uh, and I would say by this point, uh, you um, you have seen items in books about this. Uh, these are very um, rare. Let me see if I can share this with you without sharing it with everyone else. Doing it live. I think Andy knows what it is. I've got a secret. Strange stone. That's exactly what I thought it was. A strange stone. There. Can you see oh. it now? Oh shit! That's more. That's better than I thought it was. That's not. That's that's not what I thought it was at all. <laughs> more oh boy! More powerful than you could possibly imagine. <clears throat> this is this is really powerful, uh, Barrick. This is um. This is a stone that you can summon. Uh, summon powerful elemental entities, earth ones, to be specific and control them. 
Sounds like something that you should maybe hold on to, Valorant. Um, I, I, I mean, she's obviously excited about it, but she's she's like <laughs> taking a minute to like look around everyone else in the group to see if like, not if they would want it or if they'd be okay with it, but more like you can tell she's doing the calculations of if she's actually the right person for this item. I mean, I could use it if you like. I know all about the stones and the earth. Name three. Name three different stones. You got the Pitius. <laughs> The, nope. The Guineas? <laughs> nope. Uh, Santa Maria. Nope. <laughs> I nailed it. Uh, uh, I mean, I, I could use it. Uh, Calliope, do, do you want to? I don't want to rock. Uh, <laughs> you, you, uh, <laughs> you see Frederick kind of slowly raise his hand. I, yeah. I, I'd take it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, he's gonna move the flying carpet over. She gives it to Frederick. Frederick. <laughs> um, uh, how do I? Can I? Can I do that? Can I? Yeah, I can take add, it from you. Add to Bing. add to Frederick's eclectic mix of <laughs> random shit. random skills. <laughs> All right. Uh, sweet. Um, yeah, conjure and and control earth elementals. All right. Um, that's, yeah, that's that's good with me. So, are you guys following Calliope then? That's a bummer. Yes, we are. Are you going out the other door? You should check out the other door. We're here. You only live once. Yolo. Plus, that door looked. Looked more recently used than the other ones. Yolo. Valor, Valor opens that one. Nice. Clippy's gonna poke her head over here and <laughs> see. <laughs> um, party. Make a dexterity save. Mother, not you. That's my strength check to open the door. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um. So looking at this one, um, it's um in rather good condition. Um. And there's a moment where you don't think the door's going to budge, but it, it just easily pivots and opens up. Um, it, the air inside seems to be stale and stagnant. Um, the air in here seems to not have moved for many years. In fact, when you open it up, the sand actually kind of pours underneath it. Uh, there doesn't seem to be a lot in here, but it's a well-protected, doesn't seem to have seen a lot of the elements um, room, but unfortunately it's it's rather empty, but it could be a nice place to rest if, if you guys need it. Okay. Hmm. hmm. I mean, we're not going to need it though, right? I mean... I mean, why would he make it available to us if we weren't going to need it? Uh... Well, I guess uh, Calliope. Is it, a, is it a save point? Should we use it? You, we save? Uh, I don't need to, though. I'm good you on kind of step on a rock um, you're dead. as you're kind of peering <laughs> around and you, you kind of roll your ankle slightly, but in, you kind of catch yourself. Um, you swear a little bit, but you kind of. You're she glad no one heard. Um, no, she swears <laughs> everyone hears. <laughs> uh, and the, um, the opening seems to kind of dead end to the north, but uh, there seems to be some uh, sand that seems to be blowing. <laughs> Um, it, it, the opposite. It, it's blowing this way, but it's it's coming from that way. What? Yeah, you heard me. <laughs> it, it's opening to your left. There's an opening to the left that the sand seems okay. to be billowing out of. She's gonna stealthily peek around the corner. Yeah. And like uh, put her cloak over her face so she doesn't get sand in her mouth. Nice. Um, very easily you you could see that it kind of opens up to what looks to be. Uh, some sort of long destroyed tunnel, but for the most part, you feel that you could slip through along with a lot of the other party members. A lot or all? Um, mostly? No, all of them. Um, <laughs> it, it's probably in its smallest pass, maybe five foot wide. Okay. All right, she'll head back and just kind of hey, like, hey, found a tunnel. Should I go scout ahead? I mean, we could send. Newly. Yeah. <laughs> okay. 
she was, she was looking excited for a second, and then... I mean, if you want, but like... No, no, no you, you, you saw Newly kind of fly away. You ruined it. Uh, <laughs> you, you're right, that's the, that's the smart thing to do. <laughs> uh, through Newly's eyes, you see what looks to be the corridor kind of opens up. Uh, there was once uh, a door... Uh, here it's still there, but the other side is completely collapsed in. Um, it's maybe about a foot deep worth of rubble. Um, it seems to be pretty well kind of solidified there. The sand has kind of eroded it over time, um, but the the corridor still continues to kind of uh, you know go through. Um, and uh, well, you would also still continue to see. Um, it kind of continues to open. Uh, into what looks to be maybe a long forgotten river trench, um, but it seems to be a, a good way out of the castle. You you uh, uh, you could easily make your way down. So this is uh, the outside of the castle at this point. Uh, down here is. Got it. So the river trench is like the other side of the castle wall. Yep. Got it. Got it. All right. She'll pass that along to people. Hmm. She'll, she'll perch newly up here just to see if, make sure there's no, like, uh, baddies incoming. Yeah. Um, As a scout, that's... Just kind of looking around, the, the, the sand by this point has um, really started to um, kind of uh, hit her wings. Uh, so she kind of has to pull them in slightly. It's, it's hard to kind of fly around that, that close to the outside, but um, the heat... Uh, is oppressive, and you can see what looks to be the remnants of the city itself. Hmm. I would like to just make a quick perception check with Newly. Yeah. To gaze around the city to see if there's any like figures moving around or anything yep. like that. Gaze so around. She Maybe has advantage on perception checks. So. Oh no, the wind stopped. Uh oh. Wind, come back! Turn around, bright eyes. Did I? Did I lose rhyme completely? Are you guys still there? Hmm. Hmm. Hello? Oh, yep. Right. yep. There we go. Hello. All right. Every now and uh, technical difficulties. I just didn't hear your uh, your your answer to the perception um, check. That's all right, because uh, I immediately heard everything stop, and I just thought it was rhyme. Um, hmm. Technical difficulties. Uh, okay, so uh, Nuli is in technical difficulties. Uh, um, tentacle difficulties. Whoa! Look out! Um, all right, let me look. Uh, There it is. Okay. Uh, you rolled. Yeah. Um, so from this distance, with the combination of... <laughs> that is how I sing that song every time. Um, from this distance and, and the sand and the heat, uh, Newly can make out what seems to be a large structure in the middle of town. Um, it seems to be mostly walls. Um, and... Um, do you only see through Nuli's eyes? Uh, I, I I lose all of my own perceptions. And you pick up hers. Got it. All, all uh, of hers. Uh, and you can hear what seems to be faint whimpering or crying on the wind. Um, Shit. If you were closer, maybe, or if she wasn't being buffeted by the wind so much, you might be able to see more. Um, mm -hmm. But from this distance, it's pretty it's pretty difficult. Um, it's but far you, away, though. It is. It seems to be in the middle of town, and then on the opposite side, you do see that line of green that Barrett talked about. Okay. 
It's the middle of town. We hear some whimpering. And you said there was a structure? Uh, it seemed to be walls, mostly, at this point. Okay. She will pass all of this on to the group. She looks with concern uh, at uh, uh, Barrack when she mentions the whimpering. You guys are coming out around this area. Cool. Nice. Uh, are you guys heading outside? Yeah. Yeah. I'm going yeah, to do that. I'm stealthing. Uh, is everyone stealthing, or are you just trying to quietly walk? I mean, I am stealthing. I don't know. <laughs> I, can't, I can't control people behind me, but I am stealthing. Uh, I did not mean to roll that twice. So take the first one, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, you did. Um, with everyone kind of walking in to the, the outside for the first time, everyone make a perception check. Oh, boy. You're not even trying, Andy. It's hot. It's hotter than you've, you've been in a long time. Um, you guys uh, look around, uh, and you also start to hear that kind of whimpering and crying um, sound coming from, it seems to be the center of town. The wind whipping around you makes it very difficult to tell. Um, and I'll say... Everyone but Valoran can make another roll. <laughs> That's fair. To try to pick up anything else. <laughs> uh, there it is. All right, Calliope. Uh, you notice um, that um, it, you kind of start to just zone everything out. And you notice that the, the walls in the center of town seem to be newly made. Uh, newly erected um, and there, there's newly placed stones um, there seems to be one individual above um, the actual walls and individuals kind of walking around the underneath um, and you definitely see you hear what seems to be like a cracking on the wind um, cracking like a whip cracking it does kind of re resonate, that sound, yes. Like in Sleigh Bells, the Christmas song. Calliope says, everybody nut up. And she pulls out her coconuts. <laughs> All right. Uh, so you, you guys heading towards the center of town then? Calliope goes to town fast. Oh, shit. Um, uh, are you guys following her? Now's probably a great time to tell you, in case we run into vampires... I'm ready this time. I learned new spells. <laughs> Vampire spells. Uh, Calliope is about 20 feet ahead of you by this point. I said I learned new spells! <laughs> <laughs> um, you just hear a <laughs> And Tozu and uh, Korak, Frederick, and Swift Eye come whipping past on a flying carpet. Mm hmm. Um, <laughs> the rest of you, because I think one of you have coconuts. I have coconuts. Good. Uh, you kind of coconut your way closer to town. Um, as as you kind of go through town itself, for the most part, the stu the structures themselves have uh, fallen in, barely even in there. And as you get closer to the center of town, the center of town, the blocks themselves don't seem to be buffeted by the wind. Uh, the, the surrounding areas are, and for the most part, what was once a beautiful town, uh, it just seems to be just shells of buildings with sand that have just wrecked it over the time. Um, everyone can make another perception check, uh, and how close are you getting to the center of town? Until I can see something. Uh, even you, Valoran. Um, oh, really? Okay. Yep. Yeah, this is a whole new check. Um, yeah. yeah, so as you guys get closer to town, it, it's interesting. The haze seems to be even thicker here. The the, the sand is, is whipping around. Uh, it, it's hard, uh, even as you get closer to almost see the shapes, but the, the whipping sound is very distinctive now. And there there seems to be, uh, after each whip noise, just this this uh, echo of pain and... and um, 
kind of wailing. Um, you do make out what seems to be a figure uh, over top of one of the walls, um, and several individuals around that seem to be moving the blocks. Um, but it's it's really hard to make out the shapes. And by this point, uh, you're about mm, 50 feet away um, from the beginning of the walls. Um, Valoran, you um, are just kind of squinting at the human... Uh, sized individual on top of one of the stones uh, and as the wind just for a moment kind of hesitates you see that individual looking at you and then the wind picks back up and whips past okay they see us what's the plan here Calliope something's going down that I don't like let's go (laughs) yeah I think it's probably like slavery. Yeah, not cool, man. Slavery's not cool. Let's do it. Um, I'm, ga- I'm gonna assume that um, Calliope, you are leading the way on this. Yeah, she's not stopping. Um, even as you get closer, and by this point you're you're probably thirty feet. Um, you do see in the center of it seems to be um, a glowing um, reflective pool. It's hard to tell at this distance, but it's a massive pool, maybe a fountain of sorts, uh, and several large walls all around. Um, By this point, you do see several individuals walking around and kind of moving things throughout. Uh, Are you doing anything, or are you just running right in? Uh, We still don't see the source of the sound. Um, of the sound, uh, every now and again you do see that figure kind of move uh, and that whip kind of cracks. So just in case I have to turn someone into a giant monkey, <laughs> let's all decide on a sign that you you can use for me if you want me to turn you back. <laughs> it's probably not going to be it's probably not going to be Calliope this time mm. but maybe like Frederick, I don't know. Yeah, he likes to be weird shit lately. He does. Yeah, I, I, I guess I'll volunteer. Oh, I'm, I'm not. We don't have to choose now. I think we should all choose on a sign, or something, so that I know you, you're, you want out, like, uh, like a safe word, <laughs> a monkey safe word. I mean, technically, it's a giant ape safe word, I guess, but like, uh, ook, ook, ook. <laughs> Is, that's uh, just that's just racist. <laughs> this is one strange party you all have here. I like it, but you're a strange. Um, if we throw our own turds, that means chances back. <laughs> how, about, how, about, how about like an air loot? Do an air loot. An air air loot. Let's oh, go. <laughs> <laughs> Um, excellent. So, um, as you guys, uh, kind of roll up, uh, Calliope, you're leading the way. Uh, you do see several individuals, uh, around, um, kind of around the, the base. The wind makes it really difficult. Um, but you do see that single individual standing uh, above and he's just every now and again, just cracking a whip. Uh, seems to be rather well-dressed. Uh, and as, uh, he kind of sees you approach, um, let me know when I'm close enough to shoot him. Whoa. Oh, oh you could probably shoot him from here. All right. Calliope yells, not cool, man. And she pulls out one of the corkscrew arrows because she's thinking it's windy and sand is blowing. But if this shoots straight underwater, maybe it'll shoot straight through a windstorm. Mm. So she's going to pull out one of the corkscrew arrows and she's going to attempt to shoot the whip out of their hand. After I, she yells, not cool, man. I like that. Go ahead and uh, roll an attack. I will say roll an attack with advantage, because I like I like the use of the corkscrew arrow. Yeah, that's damage. Um, so you rolled a 22. I'm pretty confident that hits, but let me just make sure. Um... That does, in fact, 
hit. And she's not trying to deal damage. She's just trying to knock the whip out of the hand. Yeah. Um, you you hear the, the arrow itself as it kind of spirals through the air, just pushing sand aside as it, as it shoots through. Um, and as it hits its target with it, precision, the whip whips out of his hand. <laughs> whips out of his hand. Nice. Um, and there is an instance as, as the just spherical hole that had opened as that arrow goes through there's a moment that you you see who your target is um it's your dad it's my dad <laughs> it's your dad um oh, i thought my dad was dead <laughs> no one's dead until i say they're dead um oh. and this individual um i was really hoping i had a picture but maybe i don't oh it's another one of Korax fucking siblings isn't it <laughs> Yeah, oh, one of the Vander douches. Whole, whole fam- family of red shirts. <laughs> um, um, this is just this is just what I'm gonna have to. Uh, I'm doing this live, doing it live. Um, and you see a smirking, evil-looking humanoid standing on top uh, kill him he's evil looking Sephotep monster yes, it's not actually what he is there you go um, we're going we're going live um, oh I should have shot him in the face oh, and he, he is evil look at he that he just grins he's at got you black skin and um, everyone roll a perception check I don't like that guy. Oh shit. Valorood! Shaboom. Four. <laughs> the wind just hits everywhere, Barrick. It's just everywhere. Uh, there's sand in your crotch. Um, <laughs> Calliope, you. It's so coarse. <laughs> you notice so that uh, not only uh, does this individual look um, very, very unpleasant. Um, there's several individuals in front of him, um, that now as your vision kind of, you know, opens up to what you've just galloped into, uh, they seem to be, like, skeletal in nature. Um, <laughs> oh, shit. I could Valorant, think you them. <laughs> you notice, um, there's a arrow that just whoosh, whips past your head, uh, and you duck out of the way in time to look over and see what looks to be some sort of, uh, creature to your right. Come on! Um, that's what that's in character. Kidding me. That's in that's in character. And everyone. Wait, roll. so all of the the creatures that are getting whipped are just like monsters? Everyone roll oh. initiative. Yep. That's bullshit. Oh damn! <laughs> this is why we scout. <laughs> <laughs> it's probably fine. It's cool. It's cool. It's cool. 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 Oh shit! I gotta roll for these guys. Why is Swift die not appear? Newly's got fifteen. Uh, I will on, I guess. fist that. It's probably fine. Yeah, it's cool. I am rolling. Awesome I have to guy. go to the bathroom and get water before we do a fight. <laughs> before we get the ship down. Uh, we will probably not do all of it, but we'll, we'll do a little bit. Oh, we're going to wreck these guys. Kidding uh, me? Initiative. I don't know. You guys pull something crazy out of your ass every time. It's, it's intense. There we go. Uh, let me get to the start of the round. Uh, wow, Valor, did you roll that high? Shit. Yeah, man. You weren't Valor kidding. Valor in. Mess around. She was right in Valor in there. <laughs> so these look like undead. Uh, yeah, with that roll, uh, these clearly seem to be some kind of, uh, unnatural, unholy, undead thing. Right on. Uh, unnatural. Including the, um, the man, the humanoid-like thing on the wall. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Where's he? Oh, uh, he's, uh, this one. Right, 
right on, right on. <laughs> so here's the thing. I don't have a hypnotic pattern anymore. Oh, darn. I took vampire killing stuff, guys. Yeah. Fine, it'll be fine. You don't need my hypnotic pattern. <laughs> oh, I never prepared my spells. <laughs> you get that. nothing! Abe, is this uh, a wall or some kind of cover? Um, where are you at? Uh, those seem to be stairs downwards. Uh, and as okay. you look at this, uh, it almost seems to be... It's a new building. Um, mm -hmm. All these walls in the center here look to be fresh. Um, okay. And it seems to be surrounding this rather nice, and it's, and it's glowing. It's reflective. Um, from here, you can't tell what's in it, but it, it looks like a fountain. Um, and it seems to be stepping down into it. Right on. Uh, uh, but the rest of these things are some sort of wall, typically. If they're not, I'll let you know. Got it. Uh, so I am going to uh, run up 15 feet, and I am going to uh, pat Calliope on the shoulder and cast Protection from Evil and Good mm. as an action. Well, protection. Took that one. Mm. So, mm. Let's see, I think I can. Because we can need a hero. A, I can give this effect to good, her. That's a good spell. Boom! There it is. Nice. That sounds amazing. I don't even know what it does. It grants uh, disadvantage to all attacks against her from undead. I choose oh, undead. Oh shit! You have to choose one of those types. So I choose undead. She's immune to charm, frightened, and zest. And I am concentrating on it for 10 minutes. Damn. So that, is, I, that is a sweet spell. Yeah. It's yeah, first level. Even when good is good. Uh, so that's a first level spell. That's my action. I'm going to run up behind this pillar and um, take cover there. I'm just, she just flattens her back up against the pillar and kind of peeks around the side to see, to try to watch where what's happening. Oh. Nice. Um... I was trying to find the whole okay turn thing, but I can't find it, so fuck it. Um, okay turn thing? Yeah, you know where, like, so I can easily measure. Uh, easily measure what? You know, where it, uh, you would have to, like, I'd have to okay the move. Oh, so you right-click one of our tokens, and you click lock. Oh, okay. So, uh, so Valorant runs up, taps you on the shoulder, and says, Fuck him up, Calliope. And I cast protection from evil and good on you. What does that do? You it's, have, pretty, have, it's pretty badass. Yeah, they have disadvantage on all attacks against you, and you're yeah. immune to charm, frightened, and possessed. Oh, shit. Oh. Alright, I think Swift Eye ran up enough. We're gonna find out, but... I, I think I counted that correctly. I, I um, think she's a speed of like 100 feet. I think yeah, it's something fucking crazy. Uh, so she's going to run over feet. and and seeing this guy is going to punch him in the face. I think um, she can punch like six times. <laughs> she punches with her left. It's punches with her right. Oh, she's hitting. She's hitting hardcore. I don't know, Dane, you played a monk. Isn't it like 10 times? Yeah, they can hit a lot. I, I definitely ten feel times. like it's not ten. Um, it's however, <laughs> she hits th she hits all three. Um, wow! But and she she does knock this guy out. But uh, I have to look at something. Uh, so every time she hits, you see the the actual. And by this point, it's clearly a skeleton. The bones itself. Every time she hits, just reflect this immediate burst of fire um she is going to absorb that uh, absorb that one and damn, oh shit i just rolled that on her Fuck. she getting like reflected damage on her uh yeah every time she gets hit uh there's a burst of fire that um oh, burns shit. her skin and face uh however she did just on the third and final, she kicks it to the ground and it just crumbles into bones. Um, that was a good turn. Uh, Calliope, you're up. 
Um, okay, they they are not very tightly clumped. They're um, not. They were working. Mm -hmm. Uh, this uh, guy in the circle is the main dude that you shut up before, in case you were not sure. Okay. Um. Oh, they're all so spread out. She also killed one of them real quick. So I don't think we need to blow our like high level spells yet. Yeah. Blow everything. Blow everything. Um, that's cool. She's just gonna um shoot another arrow at this guy, and she'll do a corkscrew arrow again. Um, nice. Yeah, she'll just shoot another arrow at him. Oh shit! All right. Uh, yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. And you're attacking with a magic weapon. All right. And those are stairs right in front of your character. I asked that while you were gone. Okay. Uh, nice. So it, it kind of impacts his shoulder, and you just his his jaw just unnaturally unhinges and <laughs> hisses back at you. Um, I hiss at him. <laughs> And no, I'm not going to borrow inspiration yet. Uh, I will. I will move these stairs up or down. Uh, down. It's kind of a. Um, everything is at, like lowering into, into the center pit. Okay. Um. This. This thing right here, like how. This like pillar thing. How high above the ground is it? Um, it, it seems to be some sort of, like, obelisk, so it's it's probably a good, like, 20 feet into the air. Oh, uh, okay. Um, you could probably get some good cover from it. Alright, I'm gonna... Well, I wanna be a little bit closer. I'm gonna, yeah, she's gonna move... Fuck it, she's just gonna <laughs> charge down the stairs. Oh, that stop, stop, no, nope. stop. I just want to move her. Why can't I just... Oh, I locked her down. Oh. <laughs> she just moves. Usually I, I don't, but this map is so big. It yeah, she easier. just moves 30 feet. That's nice, because then it tells us how far the movement actually is. Yeah. Okay. That's kind of nice. That's it. That's my turn. Awesome. Um, ba -ba -da -da -ba -bum. Calliope, uh, you see this creature kind of rushing over. Uh, and it's just this, and just pulls two short swords. Oh, um, Calliope. <laughs> Don't be a hero. We need a hero. Where's my guy? Uh, da -da 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 -da. Um, and as soon as he pulls both, his entire body just <laughs> engulfs in flames. Gross. Uh, and he kind of looks like this guy. Shit. Okay. Um, then Crazy. he's gonna he's gonna hit you. He's gonna hit you. So I'm gonna hit you. Do they have disadvantage? They do oh, have disadvantage. They do have disadvantage, which in theory should automatically happen when I roll. Should. Okay. But keep me honest. In theory. Yeah. Oh, good thing because I rolled a nat twenty. What? Uh, yeah. Did I hit you with it? Yeah, I did. Um, cool. I can take it. Um, so as the sword kind of cuts down on you, it just uh, singes part of your arm, um, and it, it kind of hurts. Between this and the, the heat, it's not pleasant. Um, Ouch, gonna, those guys deal some good damage. He's going to roll again, but this time, um, as it kind of comes down, there's just this ah, aura that just kind of uh, wraps around your skin, and it just bounces off without without doing any damage. Yes. Um... I guess we can identify these guys because it'll make it easier. Uh, this guy... He is going to run over to the edge of the fountain. Uh, and you see him pull out a bow. And he is going to loose two arrows against you. Uh, this one will have oh, no. disadvantage too, right? Because he's undead. Should, yeah. Yeah, so I'm assuming a 12 doesn't hit. Nope. And let's roll this one. Um, 
yeah, and that, that doesn't hit either. Uh, two arrows just shoot past you, but his, his body engulfs into a flame. Um, she tells him to suck it. <laughs> classic <laughs> Calliope. Classic Calliope. Um, you know, now that, uh, now that I moved this guy, I don't think I moved the right guy. No, I moved the wrong guy. Where's my burning skeleton three? This guy. Sorry. There you go. Whatever. This guy. This guy over this here. Guy. Okay. Uh, Frederick well, is still sitting on the carpet. He's, um, <laughs> he's just kind of watching. Uh, Korak, though, would, uh, would gladly run into the fray. Um, all right. Um, the creature standing on the wall kind of s stamps a f uh, his uh, staff into the actual stone uh, and starts, like, mouthing some kind of um, uh, words from here. Uh, la, 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 la. Um, oh, where's it at? Why you gotta be playing like this? Don't play me, yo. Don't play me. Oh, here we go. Da, 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 da. Oh, I'm, pff, I'm not casting that. Mm -mm -mm. Um, he is gonna cast this though. Why is it all the way down here? All right, um, Barrick. I'm Barrick. Uh, uh, he moves closer. He's ever walking on the wall. Um, oh, 30. Um, so let me see if he can actually reach you. That's the key. Nope, he can't. No, he cannot. Oh really? Uh, I was just I was I No, was, he can't. Uh, it's a, I was being subliminal. It's a it's a farther um You are correct, sir. So um seeing this just holy Avenger uh in the background, his his vision immediately flicks to you. Um holy, holy, holy. but then immediately turns ever so slightly to Valoran. Um Valoran, you see him stamp his staff down and go ahead and roll uh, oh, I can make you do this. Do it. Ready. Is it a magical effect? Doesn't matter, I succeeded. <laughs> you did. Uh, so, you take... Because half. I have revenge on magic. It, it is... It, he is casting a spell, currently. Yeah. So, Suck it. Um, Suck it. You see him release this just dark mist, like, reaching out towards you. Uh, as it hits your skin, just starts to burn, but you're you're just you push back with all of your might and constitution, um, and you kind of save yourself against the effect. Uh, you're gonna take half this damage. Uh, you succeeded on your. Uh, I fucking your... succeeded my concentration <laughs> yeah, check, by that the was, way. That was badass. <laughs> hold uh, up! Hold up! How much mark? damage? Uh, half of 59, so 29 damage. Did I do that math right? Uh, let me mark off my spell. Um, and I want to make sure that there's no other effect, because you, sa you saved, so that was good. Um, if the target fails the saving throw, oh, <laughs> good thing you did. Uh, okay, yeah, you're good. Um... And he just, like, hisses again. His jaw rips open, and there's just this nasty sound that comes uh, s swallowing your way. So um, that's going to come out of my uh, 15 points out of my shield. Yeah. All right, Beric. You're up. Alrighty. You just saw this nasty black cloud just wreck Ooh. Valorant. She looks all right. She isn't She isn't like that. Wrecked her. Even Almost her. dead. No, she's fine. <laughs> All right, where can I move? I can move Burning Skeleton. She's got more health than you. <laughs> she does. It's fucking crazy. So each of these squares are still five, right? Yeah. 
10, 15. Well, the further I can get, huh? Hmm, 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 hmm. Let me look at what I have here. You got this. I am going to cast protection from evil and good on myself. Hey. Start. Nice. Hopefully, and... he doesn't have any more six level spell slots. Am I right? <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Am I right? Am I right? And then I am going to untarget myself and move. Yeah. Nice. I will allow that's this. All the further I can move. And that's it, I guess, for my turn. Nice. Um, Bear, the end of your turn. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Me. 40 feet. 40 feet, you say. Um, so, um, at the end of your turn, you see this just black mist um, fading from the actual being. Uh, and he starts kind of chanting this just nasty, oxious, uh, noxious uh, uh, odor is spilling out in the area. Um, and it's, you just feel this heavy heavy energy um anyone within 60 feet cannot regain hit points at the moment <gasps> all right all right um good to know undead creature four run in um this creature runs over to you barrel and he is going to punch you in the face. Punch me. Hit me. Actually. Nope, I already said it. We're going to punch you in the face. And he misses. Um, and I'm as going he... to Ooh. use my um, reaction and expend one superiority die. Oh, shit. To make a melee weapon attack against the creature. Mmm. That's sexy. Um... And I think the superiority die is a 1d6, if I remember correctly. 1d6. 1d6. Hold on, let me think here. Uh, where is that? It's a feat. I think it's 1d6. Yeah, I think it is a 1d6. Okay. So, um, I expend my one superiority die that I have, Bing. and I will attack him with a reaction attack. Do it. And here we go. Nice. And can I use Divine Smite on a reaction attack? You know what? I'll allow it. I'll, I'll add the flare. I'm not sure if All you right. can or not, but I say go for it. All right. Connect for uh, Expend one. Oh, sorry. I'm going to do my damage first. Damn it. Um... And then I will do a Divine Smite at first level, which is two abilities. Divine Smite, two to eight, yes. So an additional, ka -chow! Nine damage. Nice. Radiant. Love it, added it on there. Good, good. Mm -hmm. That's that's my reaction. Um, he is now going to stare at you, um, and I'm going to force you to make a save, and you succeed. Okay. So nothing happens. That's five. Okay. A, a wisdom saving throw. Um, this one. Oh, he's so far away. Uh, he's probably going to get to about there. 
he can't do anything else. Uh, mummy. <coughs> Where you at, girl? I lost my mummy. Is he dead? Where'd he go? My mummy. Where is my mummy? It says mummy three, but ain't no mummy city. I don't see nothing. Mummy, where are you? Mummy two. Mommy. Mummy four. Is he dead? Oh, maybe he's dead. That hell? Oh, it's because he's not on the board yet. Interesting. So he's gonna he's gonna come running over here. This probably means that this guy is. No, he's on the board. Um, oh, so that guy already moved. What the hell? Uh, it's like half of them appeared on the board and half of them didn't. It's fine. It's just a couple more. Fine. It's cool. It's fine. cool. Fine. All right, Valorant, you're up. Oh, sorry. Sweet. At the end of that guy's turn, mm -hmm. this creature is going to become... Make sure I have enough move for this. Uh, no, 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 no. Nope, I don't. Never mind. Nothing happens. It's cool. Forget to say anything. Okay. Uh. Newly. I don't think Newly got a turn. It's fine. Oh, Newly didn't. But you can you could use it now. It's fine. Uh, Newly's just going to fly and grant <laughs> Barrack advantage on his next mummy four attack. Nice. And then. Perch up on top of this pillar. Kaka. Who? Kaka. Kaka. She's going to yell. Big bad guy on the walls. Bad news. <laughs> and uh, I would like to suddenly start taking this guy seriously. I guess. <laughs> uh, actually. Um, going to come wait a minute i actually might Let me change that oh oh no what have i done <laughs> nope i think that exactly no. yeah oh, okay oh my, I can, oh my I can god where it. are you going <laughs> i can change it uh oh i can't quite get that um mm. fuck it i'm gonna go right here Nice. Okay. Uh, now that I know how Friar Ball works, <laughs> I'm go I'm going to pull out my case of many scrolls, and I'm going to blast a Friar Ball right down the line here. Oh, nice! <laughs> Friar Ball. Friar Ball. All right. Friar. Roll her up. Uh, so I think I can target these three. Uh, in that line, yes. Awesome. So let me make the uh, do the saving throw. Failure! 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 <laughs> like I rolled a zero. Uh, boom, 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 boom! So, ooh, that the burning skeleton takes zero damage. Good to know. Yeah, but I'm the, pretty sure the mummies are vulnerable, though. Yeah, you They're just dying. You just blasted the two of them. Oh, uh, man. Uh, awesome. I'm pretty sure. Because they, they're vulnerable to fire. Yep. I didn't even think about that, but that's awesome. Convenient. Yeah, you, you blast past them, and it just, as the fireball just kind of sears past it and then lands kind of lifeless on the ground, um, the two yeah. mummies just, yeah, they're like arms in the air, Kermit the Frog kind of running around, and then just fall over dead. Uh, awesome. <laughs> Alright. Do anything else there? Uh no, I moved my full move. That's my action. Um I'm good. Alright. Uh Swift Eye is gonna run up here. Calliope, you're up. I'm gonna shoot lightning at that guy. Pew pew. Um, I think I can Oh 
shit. <sighs> That's stupid. <laughs> he rolled a 20 and a 1. That's why bullshit. Did, why did he have an advantage, though? I don't know. Why did he have an advantage? Yeah, oh yeah, advantage. I have like... advantage versus magic. Oh, maybe. That's Hold stupid. on. He probably That's does. Stupid. Uh, a wisdom saving throw for your lightning? Damage vulnerability. No, it should be a dex save. Conditions, immunities. I don't think he should have that. Who are you attacking? The skeleton? Yeah, I don't know why he has that currently, but he shouldn't. It should be a dex save. You were, Wait, you were doing the big guy on the wall, right? Yeah. Oh, my bad. I wasn't looking at him. Yes, he is resistant. That, that Alright, yeah, happened. he rolled a 20 and a 1, so... Yeah, sorry, I thought you were shooting the skeleton in front of you. I was like, they're not no, that good. No, no. All right, well, he only takes half damage. Lame. Takes, uh, what is that, 18? Uh, yeah. 20, 30, 20. Okay, I had it on there. He gets shot with a bolt of lightning from my heart. <laughs> Hell yeah. Uh, but no one's within 10 feet of him. Nope. Um, it, you just see the bolt like radiate out from him, but it dissipates. Yeah, and she just yells at him, "You are the worst." <laughs> <laughs> you do anything else there? Um, no. All right. Uh, this burning. I flip skeleton. off the skeleton in front of me. <laughs> as as you flip him off, he attacks you. That's fine. That's fine. Yeah, that's good. Uh, hang on, I have too many windows open, I can't see shit. Uh, reaction to cutting words. Oh, alright. Go ahead. So his attack roll is reduced by so 14. two, Does which 14 is 14, which, nope, AC is 15. Damn it. Uh, it it nice. hisses at you, and um, it just kind of reflects. What do you say to distract him? I say... You know why you can't hit me? Because you're... Flaming bones and not in the good, <laughs> sexy way. You wow. Shit. Got him. So, so as you ask the question, <laughs> he almost hesitates, like... Why? Why? <laughs> and then he's like, wait, wait, wait. And then he swings, but by that point, he's he's, he's too distracted. Yep. Uh, wow. He's going to try to swing again. Yeah, he, he is that time. Um, these do something weird. Hold on. Uh, any weapon? Oh, that's included. Okay, so I don't have to roll anything extra. It just happens. Uh, but this time, um, kind of regaining his composure, uh, swings at you, and the sword sears your skin as it, as it kind of cleaves way. Okay. But he's he's hanging out there. Uh, this guy's going to run up and do the exact same thing. Uh, two swings. That one will hit. Um, this one pulling the sword back over his head. Two hands just kind of cleaves down. Uh, you instinctually kind of pull your arm up, and the bow takes some of it, but you take the majority of it right on your, your yep. uh, arm. Uh, as a reaction, I would mm -hmm. like to absorb seven of that. Oh, it's my last my abjure shield. We need a hero. Uh, you so take you, seven you, less damage. Yeah, you get seven less. Back. So I only have fifteen wounds. Wounds. Okay. A little bit better. Yeah. A little bit. It's a little better. I need to get the hell out of here. Calliope's nope. not built for melee. <laughs> nope. <laughs> you should just <laughs> ran right out there in the middle. Uh, Frederick is going to. Where are all of our fighters at? Fly the carpet not up. Not here. Bringing Tozu with him. You started like 20 feet ahead of everyone else. Yeah, then... I thought he had slaves. I was saving them. <laughs> I mean, nope. they could have been slaves at some point. Uh, he is going to cast... What is his freaking heals? Does he have any heals? <laughs> his he magic can't... missile, man. That's the only spell I've seen him cast. <laughs> he has... His, his healing... Like, his spells are ridiculous because he has so many different people. Uh, 30 feet. Okay, he's going to use praying... praying... Oh, he's gonna use no brain can... words, and Wait. that's not gonna happen. Yeah, I was gonna say we no Damn, one can heal right was, now. He just blasted a second level, and nothing happened. So, yep. uh, wait, prayer of healing? 
Uh, yeah, prayer of. That's hate. a casting time of a minute. Oh, um, well, he's gonna cast healing words then at level two, uh, but still, sadly, nothing. Yeah. Happens. Um, yeah, because I think. Yeah, it's the entire map at this point. Um, oh, so I couldn't even like do a potion. Nope. I mean, you could try. Mm-hmm. Uh, Tozu is just really confused, and I don't feel like role playing it. But uh, uh-huh. Nuli, you're up. All right. Uh, <laughs> Nuli will. You know, Egyptians are afraid of cats. That could be. <clears throat> I thought they revered them as gods. Well, all the more reason to fear them. <laughs> so Nuli is going to. I'll just skip Nuli because Nuli already gained, granted advantage for Barrack this round. Okay. Uh, Korak is going to run over and try to give a hand. Actually, he would run over here. He knows you can handle yeah. it yourself. Um, yeah. He is going to start swinging. Does he swing three times? Does anyone remember? Uh, no, just twice. Just twice. All right. He is not going to great weapon master. He's just going to swing. Freaking rolling 17. Uh, he's going to re-roll both of those. Oh, that's so much better than add a... I can do math. Uh, that's 5, 6, 7. Yeah, yeah that's so 7. Good. That's good. 7 to Skeleton 3. <clears throat> good. Uh, and then he's going to swing again. Uh, this one. Fuck yeah. Um, and... Um, Kind of seeing you, uh, kind of wounded and being beaten down. This this one, he just goes, "You die today," and he just swings and just there's skeleton bones that kind of shatter all around. Uh, they're slightly still on fire, um, but but it's 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 been cleaved uh, asunder. Um, at the end of his turn, that that darkened mist kind of immediately ends. Um, and this guy. <laughs> I'm not laughing. It's fine. Um, he raises his staff in the air, and there's just just Fuck. arc. <laughs> and then immediately, Barrack, where you stand. Oh shit! Uh, I'm so sorry. Uh... Oh shit! About to get wrecked, son. Uh, all right. So I don't know how to target all of you. Can I do that? Control click. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I don't. Ah oh, shit. How do I? Mm, mm. You select him first, and then you control click us. Okay, so I did that, and then... Oh, get out of here, Korak. Okay, so then... Um, <laughs> um, he starts casting a spell, and it seems to radiate from his staff. Valorin goes to try to counterspell it and realizes she already used her reaction. <laughs> Uh, Sorry, guys. Damn it. Oh, I'm doing yep, it live. That's what I'm saying. I have one job. Um. Okay, everyone make a... Dexterity saving throw. Me? Uh, no, anyone but you. Can I force that <laughs> on people? <laughs> Is Nuli on top of the pillar? Does she make one? Uh, Nuli would, and I will okay. tell you that no matter what, Nuli's dead. Okay. Even uh, with 14 temporary Sorry, what points. are we making again? Uh, dexterity save, and yes, even with the temporary plus, points. Plus five. Okay, I'm trying to find out what his ace, his, uh, freaking, uh, it's a 17 is what you're trying to hit. So tell me if you make it or not. I don't make it. Oh, it's probably okay, all right. All right, I rolled really crappy. Uh, from just underneath you, there's a blast and a fireball just wrecks from underneath you and just going... Um, and anyone that did not make the 17 takes 21 fire damage, uh, which should eradicate Nuli, and that mummy four is just ripped asunder. Uh, as the fireball kind of fades, 
He is no longer standing there. You uh, said 21? 21, yeah. Uh, I gotta kill that mummy. Where's he at? This guy doesn't give a shit about that mummy. Yeah, I should not vulnerable. have used my reaction. Nah, it's cool. It's cool. It's cool, cool, cool. Um, select these guys. I gotta make... It's not cool. It's not cool. It's, it's, it's fine. It's cool. cool, 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 cool. Um, it's it's kind of cool. It's, it's now a bad time to say that he cast that from his staff and not from him per, his person. Uh, so he takes 21. Cool. Nuli is... Bloop. Sorry, Nuli. It's all good. That's what, that's what she's there for. All right. Um, I think... I think that's his turn. Okay. Uh, Beric, you're up. Well, shit. All right. Hold on. Um, I have advantage, right? Uh, uh, on the mummy. Who's now dead? On the mummy. Who's now dead? <laughs> Who's totes dead? All right. Uh, maybe get to him. All right, I'm gonna go there. Okay. And I'm going to cast. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Oh, that should have been more powerful. That's okay. What's your AC, Clappy? Uh, 15, 16, it is 15. 15. All right, I'm going to cast um, Shield of Faith on Calliope. Ah, uh, yeah. And, that, and then I do this, go to this, and then I hit this. Do it. Yeah. Boom. Oh, yeah. All right, and then um, ooh, that's it. That's all I got. That's it. That was good. That's good. That's good. 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 Um. All right. There's that mummy two. Mummy two is gonna come running over to you. Bring He's it. gonna try to punch you in the face. I want my mummy. Uh. Yeah. He's gonna punch you. And you succeed your saving throw. No reason at all. Cool. Um. But then he is going to, after he gets done, like, whack, right in the side of your face, uh, he is now just staring at you. Okay. Which you succeed. No big deal. Uh, yeah, man. Right. 10 and 20. Okay, this guy's running over to them. Um, you do actually regain a heal. Um, so, during <laughs> the mummy's turn... Um, this creature Mummy. immediately becomes uh, a turret of sand and whips uh, across the field. This creature, like the one who had the whip? Yep. Pops up behind you, oh. Valoran. Yep. And then after Most the person. last mummy's yeah. turn, he is going to... Oh, come on. Where's my legendary actions? There we are. Um, he is going to blast the sand as it's kind of radiating around him, still staying in his form. Um, the wind is now starting to kind of whip around you, and you succeed. Um, and you kind of hold your hands up for a moment, and, and you're temporarily blinded, but the wind subsides, and now his form is standing right behind you. Oh. Now it's your turn. Cool. Awesome. Um, I would like to uh, bonus action. Uh, bonus. Cast Misty Step. Ooh. Oh shit! I do. No, I didn't prepare that. Yes. Okay, <laughs> Misty Step. Blame. 
Uh, so I'm going to misty step bonus action, twenty feet. Um, I go on top of this wall. Uh, it would probably take your movement, like the rest of it. But you, oh, you're misty stepping. Yes, I'll say you can. Yes. So I can misty step twenty feet. Bling. So I misty step on top of that wall, and then that is a spell. So all I can cast is cantrips or. I can use a match. Um, and then I will use my Cloak of Arachnida. Ooh. And I will attempt to use the web. This fills a... 40-foot cube. Mm. So she's going to cast a web on... These guys. Nice. Uh, so do I get the three... These three dudes? Uh, yeah, I'll say you can You can kind of angle it to hit those three. And finesse it? Yeah. Right. That's what I like to see. Oh. Wow. They are all restrained. All right, so webs fly out from the cloak and wrap around all three of those undead. Is that skeleton burning? Uh, it is currently on fire, yes. So... Any five-foot cube of web burns away in one round if it goes to fire, dealing 2d4 fire damage to any creature that starts its turn in the fire. So nice. probably... The burning skeleton can't actually be held by the webs because it'll just burn away like that little cube around it. I, I would say for the next like person's turn, it's going to be there, but it's going to just slowly kind of pull away. Oh, uh, like on its turn. Yeah, but right. the other two are uh, at least currently. So they are restrained. That's good. That's good. 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 Web. Uh, All right. Uh, Swift Eye is going to run up and try to punch that guy. Uh, does she have to do anything when she enters that? Yeah, she'll have to make a DC 13 dexterity saving throw. Dexterity saving throw. Oh. Oh, huh. yeah, oh no. 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 Does so that mean she can even punch restrained. him? <laughs> she can punch. She just has disadvantage. These webs! She is um, restrained as well. <laughs> she's going to punch. Did she? Nice. That was with disadvantage. Shit. All right. Punch it. Disadvantage. Other hand. Punch oh, yeah. Okay. Disadvantage. Kick. She's wrecking these skeletons. Um, nice. With the frustration of these webs, she just wrecks this skeleton and it just kind of crumbles and the fire slowly kind of goes out. That's awesome. Uh, Calliope, you're up. All right, I'm going to shoot my second lightning bolt at this dude and hope that he fails the save this time. Hmm. He's going to roll another natural 20. <laughs> it's probably fine. Yeah, he failed oh, he it. failed it. He takes all of this damage. <laughs> all of it. 35. Oh, that's pretty, that's pretty and good. then the mummy needs to make a deck saving throw. We need a mummy. Dex. Oh, pff. he makes this. I'll laugh my ass off. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> okay, and then he takes seven lightning damage. <laughs> As it echoes around. And she's just gonna back away a little bit. <laughs> just gonna walk on out of here. <laughs> like <laughs> 30 feet up the steps away. Uh, yeah, that's, that's Oh, wait, no, no, no. Hang on. Good. There's a mummy back there. Just kidding. She's just gonna go right here. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Nice. Uh, okay. All right. Uh, 
Frederick is going to run over to you. Well, he's he's going to fly. He's on a carpet. Um, and now, irritated, he's going to try to heal you again. Um, that's 10 minutes. I don't want that. I want... God, he has so many spells. Healing word. All right. Um, 1d4. So he's going to cast that at second level. Wait, so... are we still in the zone with no healing? Uh, no, that ended. Oh, okay, cool. Um, so that'd be two. He heals you for four plus three, so seven points of healing. Um, it goes, well, I, I tried. Um, you the best. I feel like I could have just shot him with some bolts. Yep, I'm the best. Um, and that is poor Frederick's turn. Uh, Tozu, Tozu, you, you're going to need... You got some heals up in here. Um, da -da 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 -da. He has the weirdest spells whatsoever. Uh, he's going to cast Mass Cure Wounds. Um, he is really high level. Um, so actually everyone might get this back so 3d everyone gets uh, 11 plus 5 so 16 hit points back sweet um, so that would be 5 yeah all right, I healed those guys. Um, Crack is going to charge this one, seeing that he's coming up behind us. Try to swing twice. Damn. All right. And this guy has to roll again on his turn, or he's already restrained? Uh, it takes an action. Gotcha. Oh, he would he would not waste an action for that. That's what we that's what we count on. Um He Oh, he's gonna be pissed. Yeah, that's that's what he'll do. Um Yeah, so it's restrained as long as it remains in the webs or until it breaks free. You can use an action to make a strength check to break free. Um, shit. Hey guys, you know we made it when we're starting to fight things with legendary actions. <laughs> um, he is going to open his jaw and very mummy one open up and just insects come pouring out of his mouth. Uh, yeah. And I was hoping I could just make. Oh, I can. Okay. Um, you, 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 you. Um, actually, everyone but two of them. Uh, it has to make a Constitution save. Um, a creature on a failed or half as much. So it, in theory, should either choose half or all of that, depending. Um, yes. And then, uh, the corners and leave me scored. Uh, the area is now lightly obscured by these insects. Uh, it's become difficult terrain. Um, creature also must make the saving throw when it enters the spell area for the first time or ends its turn there. Um, so that is its turn. And now a little fun. I'm gonna mark that off. Bloop. Okay, Barrick. You're All up. right. You're currently surrounded in insects. Half speed. What else do these insects do other than difficult uh, terrain? I missed it. Sorry. Difficult terrain, and if you end your turn there, you'll have to roll again. So, in theory, as long as you get out of the bugs. Yeah. But um, 
Andy, can he see your spider webs? Sure, yeah. So you see a whole bunch of spider webs in front of you, some swarm insects behind you. Um, oh, yeah, it's all Shelob up there. I'll move up and attack them. <laughs> all right. Right up in that spider web, motherfucker. I, you could also be, like, in front of him and not actually yeah. have to be it. Yeah. So. That's fine, whatever. Yeah, yeah, right there you wouldn't be. Okay, I'm going to attack him. Mess him up. Mm. Jeez, oh, that man. was bad. That was bad. That was a really <laughs> low roll. Okay, second there one hits. And then I'm going to expend a first level spell to do 2d8. Smite him. Smite damage. This is... Uh... So an extra radiant... I'm going to attack him one more time. Do it. There you go. And I'm going to do damage. And then I'm going to do a second level spell with 3d8 damage. Uh, It's an extra 12 radiant. Doesn't your hammer heal you as well? Uh, I Uh, think so, yeah. Yeah, it's... I've been doing that, but... It does not. I need to somehow figure out how to fix that. I, uh, let me see here. Hammer of the Forge. Motherfucker! Hammer of the Forge, uh. In addition to attacking twice, the weapon drains the damage it inflicts, and the wielder regains that amount of health. Yeah, you're fully healed. Noise. Bing! Nice. Okay. That's it for me. I think that had to be my last round. Oh. Oh, it is 11-15. Yeah. 